in this video i am going to teach you using bash script how to change the date time format let's say the default date time format on your computer is coming in month date and year and you like to change to date month and year right or any kind of combination you like to do how to do that in this video we are going to learn in detail so let's get started to do this we have to understand few concepts okay so first of all let's open command prompt and uh, let me show you let's say i'm writing a text hello okay what i'm writing simply i'm writing hello so i'll say set a variable a equals to let's say i'm saying hello now if i have to print it echo a right what i write percentage a percentage and if i hit on enter what happens the output comes as hello now if i ask you you have to uh, fetch me the substring of hello that means let's say few words of hello how to do that so this will help you a lot look at this okay look at this so what i'm doing i'm saying echo percentage a instead of writing percentage that's going to fetch me the entire value i would like to fetch only few value so look at this how i'm writing put a colon mark and then i am writing from where it should start let's say it should start from the index number 0 now what is index number okay let me first show you okay let me write this comma how many letters i want i want three letters or let's say i want uh, yeah three letters let's say and then i want to say percentage so this is the format see instead of writing a percentage a i am writing something like this and here there is something we have to put is a tilde symbol okay tilde symbol you know right this one tilde symbol we have to put so this is the for format what is the meaning of this let's understand so first of all let's see what what is the output comes from this okay then i am going to explain what is the meaning so what is the output here we got h the starting letter i said you should start from the position number 0 so this is the position number 0 and how many characters i want i want three characters i want so i said start from zero and fetch me three characters number of characters and this is the starting position clear so here what it did it opened h it it got as h then e then l total three characters number of characters and zero is the starting position so what is that let's understand in little more detail so let's say if i am going to write h e l l o in this table the first letter always will start from the index number or the position number okay you can call it as index number or position number will start from 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 like that will continue so when i say you should start from 0 what it fetched me it got me h and number of the length of the character would be 3 so it has got me number of characters h e l so it has got me 3 getting it now let's say i am going to say here um uh, let me start it from let me repeat the same command and here instead of 0 if i am going to say uh, let's say i am going to say 2 uh, start from 2 and give me only uh, one value or let, let's say give me only two values if i am writing this way what is the tilde symbol represents it is the starting position so 2 means if you look at this graphics 2 means what 0 1 2 so it will give me 2 that the output should start from l and how many characters i want two characters i want so that means it should give me output of l and l getting it so this should be clear this is the starting position this is the number of characters you need okay now if i hit on enter what would happen 2 ll has come okay the output has come 2 ll now this another thing i'll teach you what would happen if you write minus okay for example i am going to say minus 2 so minus 2 means it will start from from backward okay it will start from backward minus 2 2 uh, uh, let's say minus 2 if i if i make it 3 okay minus 2 and the number of character has to be positive so i will say 3 comma comma and i will say 3 okay so that means what is the output i am going to receive i got lo so that means it's starting from starting from the position number from the back end okay from so here you will start from 1 it will not start from when you start from here from the left side it will start from 0 1 2 3 4 
when you are starting from the right, it has to start from 1. So here 1, 2. So what, what is in the second position what we have? We have L. So it has started the output as L. Because there are only two characters, there is no other third character, it has printed me O. Getting it? Let's say the starting position, if I am going to make it uh, 3. Let me repeat here. 3. And if I am going to hit on enter, what happened? LLO. So 1 from the last minus means it will go from the last okay 1 2 3 so the output will come l l o so because i need two three characters if i say uh, give me it only two characters delete this two hit on enter then l l has come getting it so that is how what is the concept of a substring so once you have a clear idea on this then we will move on to how do you change the format okay you got the ent entire understanding what is this tilde symbol the first position is the Remember, let me repeat what, what we have learned. Instead of writing percentage a percentage which fetches the entire value, if I need only the substring, all I have to do put a colon mark, right, and put a tilde symbol and then write the starting position. I can write that in a positive number or in a negative number. Okay, whatever I like. Let's say if I am writing a positive number, 0 or 1 or 2 like this, then start from, you should remember this map. It always start from left to right, 0, 1, 2. From right to left, it will start from 1, 2, 3. Okay, if you are putting a minus number. So, 0, 1, 2. So, if you are, if I am mentioning the position number 2, that means from here it will start. And the second character is the length of the number of characters that you need. Okay, so once this concept is clear, let's move on. Okay, so let me clear the screen. Okay, now let's move on. If I say, if I have to say hit on date, if I type the command date, what happens? It gives me the entire date and time format. So that means I have what? Thursday, 12, 12 is your December month, okay, December, then 01 and then 2022. It gives me the entire thing as the output. So if I put that in a picture format to just to understand how the uh, position would look like, it will look something like this. T will have position number 0, 1, 2, 3, likewise. Even the space will have a position. What is the space here? If you see, this has a space, right, after THU. So this will also has a position called 3. So even the space will be counted. Now 12, 0, 1, 2022. So this is the position how it appears. Okay. Now, let's say I would like to fetch the month. What I would like to fetch? I would like to fetch the month. If I have to fetch the month, how should I write? Okay, if I write percentage, then I will write date because date is the command which contains the value, right? So I'll say percentage date colon. From where I should start? I need the month, right? So I will start from the position number four. So I will put a tilde symbol and say four, comma, and how many number of characters I need two characters right because that is only will have the month so I will say two so if I say two hit on and then put a percentage you end with the percentage and hit on enter now what is the output that has come so let us write okay let's write this way I'll say echo that that's where it will print the exact output I'll say echo and the same format I have written and if I hit on enter now what would happen here if I hit on enter Okay, so the output has come 12. Getting it. Now let's say if I want to fetch the uh, date, today's date. So where I should start from, I can start from 7, the number 7. Okay, I'll start from the number 7. I don't know if the insert key is enabled or something is wrong. Delete 7. Okay, 7 and then um, number of characters is 2. So if I start from 7, what I would I am getting? I am getting the date here. So you have to always decide what is the current format of your, uh, what is the current date and time format and based on that you have to write this. Okay, this is not fixed for everybody. Everybody you check how, so look at my system date and time is like this. So accordingly I am trying to fetch it. I am just doing the substring of the exact output. Okay, for the entire output I am doing a substring. Now if I hit on enter, what would I get? 0, 1. Now, now what is uh, what is this useful is uh, you know what is this is used for is um, you know you want to create a file and you need to have the date time entire date time you would like to keep it 
right so how do you really put a proper date and time which should start from date then month then year then the hour and minute and second and then you want to set it out so now you have understood how to fetch it okay now if i say here the format is what i don't need thu that day i don't want i just need the date first then month then year so how will i write it very simple okay uh, so let's write that on a, on the notepad plus plus okay dot txt and select that and I will change it to BAT. Okay, so now let's see how to do that. Okay, so I'll say echo of all right, and then I know um, where that um, you know how to change it. So what I will do, uh, I will write a single command. Okay, uh, I will say set dd mm any variable you can take. Let's say let's take a simple variable. Let's say set a equals to I want in date first, then month first, uh, after that month and then year, okay. So for that what I will do, uh, this is the current format which has the month first and then it has a day first, then month, then day, uh, then date, then year. So I want to change the format. So for this we will just use this uh, table to understand where the position is. Ac accordingly we are going to write it, pretty simple. So first I need the date, so I will start from 7th number, okay. So I will simply say. Um, go there and simply say percentage date okay all this I have explained so you got an idea now so how will write date percentage and then I would put a tilde symbol and start from the position number 7 right 7 okay 7 comma 2 so what would be the output of this the output of this would be the date date will come first then what I want, I want the month, right? So I'll start from the position number four. The so same thing I will repeat without a space. You know, if you need a space or an underscore, whatever you like, you can put it here and then write the command. Okay. Let's say I want an underscore. So here, what I will do, I'll simply change the, this one to four. That means it will fetch me the month. Then I need the year. So year starts from the position number 10. So here I will say position number 10. I'll repeat the same thing. Put an underscore, boom, and I will say, position number 10 getting it so now we have got what first we have got date uh, date and then we have underscore and then month then we have underscore then we have a year it is starting from the position number 10 and number of character unit is 4 right so here you will change it to 4 getting it now let's say if I am going to print this echo uh, percentage a percentage okay so this will have the exact output let's pause it here just to see the output save this that script uh, dot bat yeah. okay so now if you see did we get the proper output 0 1 then month then year okay and the same thing you need to play with the time okay for the time also you have to play the same 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 concept you just have to play with it so time what is the current time format 12 45 10 so you have to see on your computer how it is coming is it having a 24 hour format uh, okay or is it having you know am pm format so accordingly you need to check and do it okay 12 45 10 96 so accordingly the same concept will play how i have done it for the date the same thing you have to do it for the time also okay same commands you have to write and same format you have to write that way you will be able to do necessary changes and get the output however you want okay